Hey you guys, welcome back to another BK Vids video. Today we are going to have some fun. It's 1.20. So basically, y'all might remember back way back inside the day, whenever Minecraft was really popping, uh there was um there was this Minecraft mob vote, and we voted for a dinosaur creature. And since we got that dinosaur creature, it seems we now have our very own archaeology system now. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be covering everything inside the archaeology system thus far. And if you want to see more videos on Minecraft or you want to see me do a series, like and subscribe. It would does the channel a huge favor. We are so close to hitting 200, so why don't you just hit subscribe and just be nice because like there's no reason not to. And yeah, let's let's get into this. So, uh, first we're gonna start off with these new archaeology items. So, first of all, we have the Pottery Shard. Now, the Pottery Shard, we can actually use this to create pots, or sort of like this one. And, uh, once we have the pot, we can make, uh, pretty cool designs. And, um, recently they just added some more, so we'll be seeing those maybe in another video. Next, over here, we got Suspicious Sand. We can go inside the Suspicious Sand, and we can dig up different fossils. Well, I guess not fossils, but like relics, you know? And we can also dig up the Sniffer Egg, which is new to Minecraft. And of course, we can dig up these shards right here. So, uh, yeah. Next, we can get the Torch Flower in this new update. So, this was the plant that was promised to us during the Minecraft 2022 Minecraft Live mob vote. And, uh, yeah, the Sniffer was voted as the most voted mob inside the game, and now it seems we have it inside the game, and we're going to be looking at it in just a bit. But yeah, this is the plant that we were promised with the Sniffer, and it looks pretty cool, and it, it looks like this whenever it's, like, actually planted. Okay, so next we got the brush. The brush, uh, it kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park, to be honest. It's just, uh, archaeology brush that you can use. Just like, like I said in Jurassic Park, where you can dig up the little fossils and, in this case, sniffer eggs. Which can somehow hatch over, like, millions of years. And then next, we have the torch flower seeds. And this also makes the torch flower, this thing over here, the very first plant to ever be able to have seeds. Which is actually pretty cool. And, like you do, seeds, we can farm them. And we're going to see a cool looking farm just here in a bit. Next, we have the decorated pot. The decorated pot is a precursor to the pottery shard, and we can actually make all sorts of pots. This one is one of them. We can make that one out of bricks, but this one, uh, this is just a cool little aesthetic-y pot, so you can make those out of the pottery shards. And then lastly, we have the sniffer egg. This isn't exactly what it's going to look like, but um, this is a sort of theoretical, sort of a, you know, sort of imagining of the sniffer egg. So yeah. Next, let's look at these crafting recipes. So first of all, we have the decorated pot, and it requires four pottery shards, or in another case, you can use four bricks, which also make a pot. And it'll look like this, it won't have any decorations, but um, the types of decorations you put on your pot corresponds to what kind of pot you're going to get. And uh, we'll get to that in just a bit. Next, we have the brush, which is the same one from Jurassic Park. Uh, we just actually just need to use two sticks and three string. It's a really simple recipe, and I like it. It's very simplistic, and yeah, it's very nice. Okay, now let's go look at some other bigger things inside this update. Okay, nice, outside. So first, let's look at these uh, pottery shards. Oh, oh, look, there's a sniffer. Hey, dude. Anyways, so first, it says right here, use shards to make a decorated pot. So, like you do, you can go in here and get all these shards, and we can make ourselves a decorated pot. So, let's do that. So, let's make... How about we make one with two diamonds? And, how about... Eh... Arms up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and as you can see, we can get ourselves this pot right here. And... Boom, there it is. And as you can see, it has both the arms up and the treasure one. So it's actually really cool. And we can make as many sorts of designs as we want. Oh, look, there's a little seat over here. I guess the sniffer brought that one up. Anyways, so yeah, this is uh, one of the newer things. And it's definitely one of the cooler ones. 
Uh, if you remember, we can actually uh, remember like some of the older designs for the pots whenever it was being leaked in Caves and Cliffs and also in the other updates. So it's really cool to actually see it in game and I really like it. I think it's going to be really cool for archaeology. Okay, so next let's move on to the brush and what it does. So we can also essentially use the brush to uncover the uh, suspicious sand, which is another new block inside this new update. And uh, we can use it to dig up this suspicious sand. Now suspicious sand is pretty much like the base point for everything inside this new update. We have like, like I said, the sniffer eggs, which bring us back to there, which is pretty much, you know, where we find the torch flowers and the seeds and the sniffer and then we go from there and then uh apart from the sniffer eggs we get the shards and then you know there's that rabbit hole so yeah it goes pretty deep and it all kind of roots just from here and obviously you can uh still use it on like different things like the pot so if you just want to do like a made role play you can like use a brush to brush this sounds pretty goofy it is trust me but uh yeah that that's what people like to do. Anyways, lastly, let's talk about the sniffer. Hey, dude. So the sniffer is one of the biggest updates inside this whole entire thing because like everybody was hyped about this thing. Everybody really wanted to see it, mostly. I heard that the sniffer got over half of the votes, but I also heard that some people really wanted the tough golem. I'm gonna be honest, I voted for the sniffer, so don't come at me, but I love the sniffer. It's a giant dinosaur. I have dreamed of this thing to be inside Minecraft for ages. So, like actual dinosaurs in Minecraft, this is just insane. And uh, next, let's go on to what the sniffer sniffs up. So the sniffer essentially sniffs up these torch flowers, and yeah, it technically just sniffs up the seeds for them. And once we have the seeds, we can uh, you know make our own farm, and it looks something like this. So. If we go in here, let's take some seeds, and let's just, let's just take these ones out. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, if we take them out, we can actually grow the torch flower seeds right here. They will indeed grow into big, strong torch flowers. As you can see, this is the second stage, and the uh, torch flower actually only has three stages. It goes from the baby one, to the this one into the this one so yeah that's pretty much it it actually looks really cool and i genuinely love it i'm really glad that they added the uh new plant like this and not like you know just some normal flower i wouldn't have been impressed with that so i'm glad they gave us what we voted for and yeah that's pretty much it and as for the sniffer there's actually really cool animation that we're going to highlight here right now so let's take a look at that Okay, so let's talk about the sniffer. So essentially the sniffer has three stages and it's going to go through these three to end up at the third and eventually sniff. So in our first stage, the sniffer is going to be walking around and sniffing around, but not actually going inside the ground. And it'll actually just have its head above the ground and sniff around, looking around for some seeds. And then inside the second stage, we'll see the sniffer actually put its head into the ground. After this, you will have a guaranteed chance of actually seeing that he will find a seed. And yeah, after that, he'll plop himself on the ground, he'll bury his head inside the grass, and then he'll sniff out a seed. Uh, another thing to note here is that he cannot do this inside sand. So if you're trying to do like an archeology span themed little farm, uh, it will not work if it is on sand. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that is all of the updates for Minecraft 1.20. Like I said, it's quite small, but it's actually really cool to like, you know, finally have like archaeology and more mystery into this game. Because I feel like Minecraft is just a little bit clear cut, but this actually makes a little bit more like a mystery sort of um, kind of vibe inside the game. So I really like this whole idea of archaeology inside the game. And yeah, tell me y'all thought y'all's thoughts on 1.20. I really appreciate all y'all's support on these videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Oh look, it's sniffing. What a nice close to the video. Nice. Anyways, I'll see y'all guys inside the next video.
Peace out. Bye.